Hi everyone, this is Tara Ross with EdJourneys.com. Today I want to show you how to upload a Scribd document that you have in your Scribd uploads and put that in your web page. So um, this is a pretty cool system. Scribd is one of the largest repositories of digital content. Actually, it bills itself as the world's largest digital library, even larger than the Library of Congress. And you can upload um, your reports, you can upload things that you've written that you want um, to share with others and um, share on social media to, you know, increase your authority in a particular area. Um, you can share lots of different things, pamphlets, um, presentations, PowerPoint presentations. And I have several things here, um, some of my academic work and some of my writing and some of my PowerPoint presentations or my keynote presentations. So um, I just have a lot of different things that I wanna share. And some of these things I actually wanna make a repository for on my website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to one of those reports. Um, this is actually my doctoral dissertation. So I'm gonna click on that. And I am going to, um, it, it says I can download it. I, so anybody can go to Scribd and find my dissertation and download it and read it, use it in their research, whatever. Um, they can look at it in the standard view, which is just you know scrolling through and reading the paper. Um, they can look at it in full view so they don't get any of the stuff on the sidebar. And then they have a bunch of sharing options um, and note options they can make to documents and script. So it's a really handy way to explore content. So what I'm gonna do though to embed it on my webpage is I'm going to click on the arrow here that says share on social networks. And then I have the option of, you know, do I want to share it on Facebook? Um, do I want to tweet it? Do I want to share it on Google Plus or do I want to embed it? Um, I definitely recommend sharing it on Google Plus if it's something that you want to be um, increasing your online authority for, you want to become known for. Remember, Google Plus is great for search engine optimization. Um, but in this case, my goal is to embed it on my website. So I'm going to click the embed button. Okay, so here we are on the embed page, and this gives me lots of options um, that I may not have even considered. For example, I can um, share the URL for the document. I can share, you know, copy the embed code, which I'm gonna do in just a minute. I can um, change the um, size of the document. Um, I can, um, set custom widths. I can set it to scroll or to have as a slideshow or as a book. Um, so lots of great options. If I set it to the beginning of the document, um, then obviously it's going to start at the beginning, but I can also set it for current page. Um, if I set it to full screen, then any other information about the author that is shown with the document, um, like on the sidebar or whatever, may not be included. So um, it kind of is up to you and how you want to share it. Okay, so I have a WordPress website. I don't need all of that HTML code. If I didn't have a WordPress website, I could copy this. I could still use that for WordPress too, but um, WordPress, WordPress has its own special code, so I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna go over to my blog, and I've created a new page. Um, I've titled it Documents, and um, I'm gonna go into the text edit feature. I'm gonna type in, um, what this is, I'm going to add my code. And then I'm going to click update. And it's a long document. So let's see what happens here. And there we have it. Okay, so um, we have the dissertation in a nice you know, just easy to read format. And then people are able to download it, share it, embed it themselves, um, do searches within it. Um, so that makes it just super shareable. Now what I can do is I can go back to the back end and I can add another document. 
And to add another document, I simply just go to My Uploads and choose another document. So I want to choose the PowerPoint slide that goes along with my dissertation. And um, I'm going to embed that underneath the dissertation. So I'm going to click that, click Embed, click the WordPress code, grab the WordPress code. I want to start at the beginning of the document. Paste that underneath the code for the dissertation. Click Update. And once it's updated, then it's going to be um, right underneath it, which is nice that you know people won't have to scroll too far um, to get to the second document. And there it is, right there. And this will show as a slideshow. So um, I just love this feature. I think it looks really professional. It looks crisp. And it's a great way to send people to one location to find out all about you. So not only um, can they read about um, my consulting and my books, but they can also read the documents and the presentations that I've written. So that's how you embed a document from Scribd. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you want to learn more about social media, please pick up my book, Daily Actions for Social Media Mastery on Amazon, and also check out my Udemy course um, on social media. You can check out the options for purchasing the book and the online course as a package at a discounted price um, on the page titled eCourses, which is right here. So please check that out, and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.